Hi, you guys. Oh, wow, the persecution is so real these days, but you know what? I'm built for it, you know? Okay, so hi, guys. So I don't know if you saw the title of this video. It's called A Hard Pill to Swallow. And I gotta give, I have to give you guys a story. So, um, hold on, let me write something down. Because God gave me scripture that I'm going to read to you guys. So when I was younger, and my siblings can attest to this, um, when I was sick, I was the one that could not swallow pills. And they would make fun of me so much. My mom, will, she'll tell you that. They used to laugh. I was like, no, just, just put it in ice cream. Crush it and put it in ice cream. And... It wasn't until, like, I got tired of them just, like, laughing and I got tired of just having to put it in ice cream. And I was like, there's going to be a time where I have to be in front of people that I don't want them to know that I have to crush it and put it in ice cream. So I'm going to buckle down and swallow this pill. And... Once I overcame the fear of swallowing the pill, it became a lot easier, right? So I then noticed that it was all in my mind. And being a mom, I realized that with my children, with them denying certain foods and not wanting certain things because of the way it looks, the way it smells, whatever, whatever have you, I know that it's all in their mind. And if you're a parent, you know that kids will work, they'll, they'll work up themselves just to deny something because of what they think it is, right? Or what they think it's not. Um, so we have to be very, very careful. And, and you know, that the Holy Spirit is telling me that that is a part of growth and growing up. It's it's very, it's a very immature mindset where you don't even want to try. You know, you want to be just stuck in a place because it's comfortable for you or because it's a safe haven, right? And God does not want us to be like that. That's a part of, it's called spiritual, not just spiritual growth, but mental growth, you know, just growth. And what I've come to realize by looking at people, situations, families, things like that, um, relationships, you know, teachings, is that some people are so like hell bent on how they were raised doing things, um, on their beliefs. And it's a hard pill for them to swallow when someone tells them, that, you know, you might be wrong. <laughs> and I use my example as really swallowing pills um, as an example because I want you guys to see what I'm trying to say, right? Conviction saved me, saved me. And you couldn't tell the old Rochelle back then. This is why I sympathize with people, right? Um, you couldn't tell the old Rochelle back then that I was doing anything wrong. And you know, many children, like as, as parents, we have a difficult time when they become teenagers and stuff because they kind of think that they know what they're talking about, they know what they are doing, you know, um, that they're doing it right and that we just wanna come down to them and be, and be mean. But if you're like me, when you get older, you're like, my mom was right, my dad was right about certain things, you know what I'm saying? And Sometimes it takes for someone to open up your eyes to be like, man, I was tripping. I was really like getting mad at them when they were just like looking out for my best interest. And that's what God is. That's what God does. You know, it's like once you've been convicted, whether like you have to be obedient. And this goes blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. I can't even talk. Right. This goes with. This shows your obedience, right? And because I have grown to be very obedient to God, um, people think of it as, oh, this is your new walk with God. This is this, is that. No, it's because I've seen what my obedience has done. I've tried it my way <laughs> and I was stuck for so many years, you know? 
And I just once I decided to try it God's way, you know, I just came to the realization that, you know, everything that I believed was not right, you know? Um, the life that I lived was not right. A lot of the things that I was taught and that I heard and that I grew in, up into was wrong. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person. And it doesn't mean that the people that are trying to show you that the, the way, is the ideology, the traditions, the religion is wrong, is, is wrong. We're not trying to attack you. It's just like we're trying to give you that um, understanding from God that is um, that surpasses all human understanding, right? It's like, um, I always say this, when you know better, you do better, right? So God did give me scripture on this. When I was meditating on it, I'm really like, how do I deliver this to people without them thinking that I think I'm holier than thou? Because I'm not. I'm far from it. But I'm far from being the hot mess that I was all those years of my life. So I can speak on what I now know is wrong. And how it not only imprisoned me, but imprisoned people that I know that have given testimonies. So I want people to be free. Like, I, I'm free. I'm at peace, right? So, you, you guys, conviction is to change us. And I say this, I, I don't know how many videos I gotta do. I gotta do. But anyways, God gave me Acts 26, 18, right? To open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Okay, you guys. So like, we don't want to condemn you guys. We just want to show you that even if you've engaged in certain things, even if you've had certain beliefs, even if you've, you know, done certain things that you did not know, um, we're not of God. God forgives. And you don't got to be stuck like that. So it's not, you shouldn't, and I think so many times people have feel guilty and they feel like, oh my goodness, like I'm a bad person. Am I going to hell? I'm a demon because I do this. And that, that's not the case. Um, it's not the case, but it's just interesting to me that people, where people would get their um, teachings from and just they they intend toes down for what they believe in, but fail to realize that many times uh, it goes against God or they, they fail to understand that some of the things that they believe in and that they don't want to stop believing in due to pride, due to, you know, um, embarrassment, things like that. They don't want to submit. And that's not our problem. That's not our problem. Um, you know, when you are called to spread the gospel, you're, you're called to spread the gospel, not to spare people's feelings. Like, I don't know where in the Bible that says that. And if you guys find it, definitely point it out to me. I am a teachable person. I'm very teachable. I'm not always right. I'm always willing to learn. And what I've, you know, I've come across so many people these days that are the opposite. And God had to tell me, like, Rochelle, it's not you. It's not you. So don't get offended. And I don't, you know. So I just wanted to drop that knowledge on you guys. Go read Acts 26.18. Let God minister to you through his word. I love you guys. And it's never, it's not too late to change. And I encourage you guys. Like, I'm, I'm not going to keep, hold on to these secrets of greatness to myself. Like, it's for everybody. So, it's for the kingdom. And we are kingdom. And we can rebuild God's kingdom here on earth. We don't have to be stuck and bound. We don't. We don't. But I love y'all again and we'll talk soon. Later.